everyone! So happy June 1st. I wanted to do something different and come outside. It's such a beautiful day. It's like not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet and it's already like gonna be a scorcher and really hot out so I thought I'd come out here early and film my favorites and uh, did I say happy 1st of May? Happy 1st of June? Did I say that? I don't remember now. Anyways, um, so I thought I'd come out here and uh, do my video because it's gonna get really really hot um, so anyways um, I have actually quite a few um, favorites for the month of May a lot of things um, that I kind of just rediscovered again that I'm really enjoying so I hope you guys enjoy and keep on watching first thing that I got I got this a few weeks ago and I've used it several times this is the um, Schwartz cough got to be guardian angel it's a heat protectant spray I've heard good things about this so um, I've been using it quite a bit and actually really like you can tell like it's putting like a coating of some sort onto your hair as opposed to just this spray that I don't know I just I'm really enjoying it it's more powerful spray um, when you put it on and you can tell like there's something on there actually protecting your hair so I've only been using it a few weeks now but I'm really really enjoying it I like the smell of it too I've been using my crimson amulet um, dark shadows um, palette and um, you'll see this in a tutorial that I haven't posted yet but I did and I've been using kind of this um, kind of neutral selection of shadows quite a bit really have been enjoying this um, the NYX have, they've got some pretty good um, shadows and what not to go along with my like smoky looking looking smoky looks that I've been doing lately um, I've been using my Annabelle smudge liner um, eyeliner and this is in the shade Amour and it's really really nice I'll do a little swatch for you goes on really really well it's just such a great alternative to black like what I'll do is maybe do like a black liner or a brown liner and then I'll use this in my waterline and like also underneath my bottom lash line and just kind of smoke it out sorry you can hear vehicles and stuff maybe this being outside wasn't a good idea I don't know anyway it also comes with a smudgy end as well it's kind of like a sort of I don't know rubbery smudgy end I don't use it I feel like it tugs too much um, but I mean you can use it if you want. I just either will use my finger or I'll take like a pencil brush um, or like a really short shader brush and just kind of smudge it out myself. Next I have my Revlon Photo Ready uh, Cream Blush in the shade Flush. And this is really gorgeous bright pink. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, my stuff is like starting to melt out here. I've been outside for like five minutes. My goodness. Anyways, um, because of like, you know, the warmer climate, a lot warmer climate, because it's been getting a lot warmer lately, I've been using um, cream on the, you know, on my cheeks and stuff, and I love this. It's a really pretty, you know, flushed color, like it, it says. It blends into the cheeks really nicely. It lasts all day. Um, I've been really enjoying this. I got this probably like a year ago or something, and, and I used it when I first got it, and then kind of just tucked it away, and now I've been pulling it out and using it quite a bit, and I really like it. I have been using my beauty blending sponge. I'm not gonna say it's beauty blender because it's not. I got this on eBay, um, but it works just the same and it's horribly stained. That's the only thing. Like, if you guys know of a really good way to clean these, please let me know because I will like wash mine and I'll shampoo it and stuff, but it just, it stains so easily. Um, I don't know, anyway, so I need to like get a new one. It's bothering me that it's all like gross looking, but it is clean, I have washed it, it's just stained. But anyways, I really like this. It gives like any foundation um, or anything you're putting on your face, it gives a really nice like um, natural sheared kind of look to it. So if you don't want maybe like a medium full coverage one day, you just, you know, soak this in water, wring it out and um, apply your foundation. I just pat it on with the, the bottom. Then when I'm doing around the nose, um, I'll just, you know, use the corner and get into those small areas and it does like a fabulous job everything is like so smooth and even and flawless looking I've really really been enjoying this I've been using this probably just as much as I've been using my um, Sigma Kabuki brush I'm gonna go and repurchase another one of these I got this on eBay but I can actually get these at Winners um, they've got a brand there that I can pick up so I'm probably gonna be buying another one of those very soon for putting on my lips, um, this isn't anything super special, but I just really like it. It's very moisturizing. It's an EOS lip balm in a stick form, and um, the all the writing and everything. There's nothing, no writing on it, so I don't know like what scent or I mean, it smells really nice. I don't know what like flavor or scent or whatever it is, but I absolutely love this. I have it on my lips right now, and I've been wearing it quite a bit. Um, putting it on almost every single day, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's. Ooh, See, this is what happens when you film outside. Bees attack you. I think it was a bee. 
anyway I've been putting it on like every single day um, it's a great thing to put on even like before bed just to keep your lips moisturized but um, especially it's been really getting really really warm out um, I don't always want to wear a lipstick or something so I've been throwing this on and your lips just feel really moisturized and really nice and so I really like that what I have on today this is my Neutrogena um, illuminating tinted moisturizer and I didn't really you know find it to be that amazing or super covering or anything like that but what I've been doing with this is days that I'm not wearing any makeup I've been throwing this on um, and it's got SPF 30 in it so it's going to protect your skin from the Sun for quite a while um, I would always you know suggest putting another sunscreen on underneath or something like that um, just because it's not gonna last all day but um, it's got SPF 30 and a little bit of coverage, so I'm wearing it today. Um, I'm actually going to be hanging out with a bunch of friends and doing stuff out, um, outside today. So I'm like, I don't want to wear any foundation or anything. I don't want stuff sweating off me. So I'm like, this is going to be perfect. It's got SPF in it, and that's what I'm going to be wearing this for. Yeah, I've really been enjoying this. So I've been using my um, contour palette quite a bit. Um, I've been using this brown color here to fill in my brows um, on days that I don't want like a super like bold brow I just want them like filled in and looking nice. I'll use this brown here. Sometimes I'll mix it in with this other brown as well um, I'm so bad because I don't really use it that much for contouring or anything But anyways, and then the other thing I've been using is um, this powder here I know it's kind of hard to tell but I've been using this really light um, kind of skin colored powder and I've been setting my makeup with that um, and it's working really well. I'm happy I picked this up. This is a very handy, handy palette to have. You can do so many things like filling in your brows. You can lighten your foundation if you need to. Um, you can darken it if you need to. You can set it. You can do all sorts of things with this palette. So I really enjoyed it. I use it probably almost every single day. So my last makeup favorite, which should be no surprise, though I don't know if I've talked about it in the video as of yet, but I'm, anyways, whatever. It's my Milani Baked Bronzer, and I am obsessed with this. I absolutely love it. This is in the shade Glow, which is number four, and it just has the prettiest, um, not orangey or brownie, just really nice, it's gonna be hard to like put this, swatch this on my hand to show you outside because the bright sun, but, I don't know if you can see but it's got this nice glow like yes there's shimmer and stuff in it but it's not like so much that it's like wow you've got glitter on your face you know it just gives you a nice glow like the name says and if you guys can get your hands on Milani I really like their stuff so um, yeah love this bronzer I uh, can't get enough of it I'm pretty sure it has now replaced my Rimmel natural bronzer which I loved forever and I still like it but I, I'm pretty sure this replaced it okay so one uh, random oh my gosh I'm like sweating out here yeah, okay. I'm gonna need to sit in the shade of my, my mug of tea because I always have my tea in the morning. And I recently started, um, or not started, I recently purchased this here. And this is the Tetley Green Tea with uh, Super Fruit Blueberry. And um, I love blueberry and I've never had anything like that before, so I thought I'd try it and I am obsessed with it. I usually have like a regular green tea, you know, every other day and I'll have a different tea on those other days, you know, I'll have every other, tea, you know what I mean. Anyways, and I've been having this every single day, so um, I mean, it's it's not gonna run out yet, but it's getting close to running out, and I just bought this. Um, so, anyways, I absolutely love it. If you guys love fruit in your tea or like fruity teas, if that makes sense, um, you guys should definitely definitely pick that up if you can get your hands on it, cause uh, it's ridiculous. It smells like blueberry, and it's good. Hold on, just a moment. Like that's so good. Um, yeah, that's good. Anyways, um. Okay, so I'm going to be done filming now because I'm melting. And um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Had a super wonderful May. I know I had a really good May. The time actually flew by pretty quickly. Um, and we're, you know, this is June now. So we are halfway done 2013. Can you believe it? It's, it's gone by so fast. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you later on in the month. Bye. Okay. Oh, my goodness.